Placing a hold. If an item is checked out or all copies of the title are checked out, you can place a hold on it so that when it is returned, it can be held for a library user. You can place the hold for the user in workflows, or you can allow them to place the hold themselves using iSearch. If the holds option in iSearch has not already been set up at your library, you will need to contact your InfoHio support team to have this option enabled. The default setting is to only allow holds when all copies of the item at your library are checked out. If you would like to be able to place a hold on items that are available, or have your users place a hold on items that are available using iSearch, please contact your InfoHio support team to have these options enabled. To place a hold, you will need two pieces of information. Who wants to place the hold and the title of the item for the hold. Expand the Holds Maintenance Wizard group. Click on the Place Holds Wizard. Search for your user by clicking on the User Search Helper. Select the user and click the Place Hold for this user button. Next, search for the title by using the Item Search Helper. Select a copy at your building and click the Place Hold button. The Expires box is when the hold will be canceled if a copy has not been returned to fill the hold. Verify that the level is set to title. If you own more than one copy of the item, this allows any copy to be used to fill the hold. Verify that the range is set to library. Only copies from your library will be used to fill the hold. Click the place hold button and the hold has been placed. When the item is checked in, you will receive an alert that the item is on hold for a user. Place the item on the hold shelf at your circulation desk. During checkout, when you open the user's account, you will be notified that a hold is available. Check the screen for the title, pull the hold from the shelf, and check it out to your library user. Questions? Please contact your InfoHio provider for workflow support.